Hey y'all, Brian at Connected Home. Today we want to talk to you about the Control 4 tabletop wireless interface. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on. Get my crazy face out of that picture. Now you'll notice with this Control 4 tabletop interface, it looks very similar to a tablet and is loaded with the iOS 3 from Control 4. Very, very similar to your on-screen display that you would have using your remote and TV. Also very much similar to the app as well. Now up here at the top, you'll notice that we're currently in the lobby. You can simply change rooms by moving left and right. Now we're in the theater. One more time, now we are in the office. And you'll notice that on each page, it does have some different options, some different favorites or shortcuts. For instance, the theater has lighting. In our main lobby where we entertain, we're gonna have our current session, which is our Dish Network, and a couple other video and audio solutions, as well as controls for our thermostat and our lights. Now, you can add and remove different shortcuts to each room, which is what we're gonna be talking about in today's demo. So now here in the front lobby, we would normally be doing a lot more video and audio than in any other room. Now notice that we do have our channels for our Dish as well as our Dish Network. We have our Blu-ray player, our Netflix app, as well as two audio apps, which would be Pandora and Deezer. But let's say we wanna add some more stuff to this page. So just like on our remote, we do have a Control 4 button up here in the top. We're simply going to tap that. It's gonna have our watch, listen, lighting, comfort, and settings, just like our on-screen display. So let's come in here and hit watch first. Now we normally do a lot with the Roku. So let's go ahead and press and hold the Roku. It's gonna give us our options and we want a favorite to room. And it's gonna go ahead and save that as a favorite in the lobby where we currently are. So now let's see, are there any other sources? Well, we do tend to watch YouTube a lot as well too, especially for instructional videos, just like this one. So let's go ahead and hit YouTube and we're gonna favorite to the room as well. And now let's hit our little house button. It's gonna bring us back to our lobby and you'll notice now we do have Roku and YouTube saved in here as a favorite. Now we might want a few other music options beside Pandora and Deezer. So we're going to hit the control four menu button one more time. Let's go into listen. And here we have some of our apps. Our Pandora and Deezer have already been added to the page, but we also want to showcase one of our finer turntables that we have up front. So let's go ahead and hit turntable, favorite to room. Now I'll go back again to our main lobby. And you'll notice we still have the Roku and the YouTube. And now we've also added our turntable in. And now removing the apps from the page is just as easy. All you're gonna to wanna to do is press and hold. And it's gonna ask you to arrange and remove. This time we're simply going to remove the three applications that we put on this page. So it goes back to normal. We're gonna hit check to save the changes. And now notice the lobby no longer has those three applications we just added because we removed them. Now let's try a different room. Let's say over in the theater. The theater is where we have most of our lighting controls. So let's go ahead and show you how to remove and add some lighting. So now our two normal most important ones are going to be all on and all off. So we simply press and hold and we do arrange and remove. And we're going to remove the all on scene and the all off scene. Hit the check to save those changes. Notice the theater no longer has all on and all off. So let's go ahead and add those back. So we wanna go back into the control four menu, hit our lighting. And now we do have, just like in the on-screen display, scenes and lights. So here we have all of our lights that we can add individually, but we wanna replace the two scenes that we just took off of this page. So we're simply gonna press and hold all on favorite to this room, all off, favorite to this room, and now we can go back to our room display and see that the all on and all off have been added back, but let's go ahead and put them in the position that they were in. So we press and hold, we want to arrange and remove, but this time instead of pressing the X, we're simply going to grab that box, move it up here, grab the all off, move it right up here beside hit the check mark again to save our changes and now all off and all on right back where they were so that's a simple little brief 
demonstration on how you add and remove favorites, you can find us online, connectedhomenc.com.